All right, crafters, welcome back. This is Georgiana with Expressions Craft Studio. And if you've been following my videos, you know I've recently made some Easter cards where I used Sam Calcott's instructions and then recreated the file for the Cricut. Um, that file is for share in my Expressions Craft Studio Facebook group. There's a page and a group. You want to make sure you join the group uh, if you want the free files. Anyway, so I finally decided to get these sentiments done, and I just made a variety of different sizes and different colors and different fonts, and this is what I came up with. Um, I ended up running them through my die cutting machine because I am still getting used to my scan and cut, and um, haven't got them quite ready to be able to cut out on that yet, but... Um, I've just manually gone through and cut out each sentiment with a die. That was upside down. I was wondering why that didn't fit together the way it was supposed to. There we go. Anyway, um, I did have one that I messed up on, which was this one. And I was using this block as a tool. I was just going to cut it out uh, straight and then edge it with some scissors that I have from years and years ago. These are antique um, deckle edge type scissors because I didn't have any dies that fit the remaining three but I ended up messing that one up as you can see I kind of my cut got askew and so I ruined that one but the other two did work out all right and so they are here so I printed these on pearl paper on my color inkjet printer um, I also thought about printing them out on my laser printer so that I could foil them and I might do that in the future um, but anyway this I, I got quite a few out of there and I just kept going through my samples I have some templates of all of my various sizes of dies that I think will look good for sentiments and so I just go through this is my my templates but I basically I just go through until I find one I'll lay it over the uh, the page to make sure that it'll fit this idea is from i believe her name's connie she is a stampin up demonstrator and has a lot of youtube videos uh, anyway i just go through i flip through until i find one that i think is, will fit in the space that i have left or that's available however you want to look at it and then i select my dies based on that i also have a book of my templates. I saved all of the cutouts from here and I put them in a book so that I can kind of hold them up to the sentiment and see if it looks like it'll fit. Sometimes this is easier, sometimes it's not. Um, so I have a book with all of my different size dies that I think will work for sentiments. Now, I do number and label mine. I have them in different bins, and so this one's bin five. This is in my holiday section, so that's kind of my naming convention, but of course, uh, that's something that you can, you know, you're going to want to do what's best for you if you decide to do something like that. But that's just kind of my process. I wanted to do a quick video and show you what I'd come up with, and um, I'm pretty happy with them. I've made a mess of them, but I'm pretty happy with them. So now I've got some to add to my stash and some to finish off these three Easter cards in front of me. So if you have any questions, um, give me a shout. I will tell you that the graphics program I use to, uh, well, just to create these is not a mainstream industry graphics program. It's, it is on the cheaper end, but it has a lot of um, quirks, we'll say. So. I only continue to use it because I know it. I'm familiar with it. I've used it for, I don't know, 15 or 20 years. And I already own it. So I'm just, you know, using what I'm familiar with. But there are better programs out there for sure. Um, but that's why I won't probably answer questions about the graphics program I use just because it's not one that most people have heard of. But if you have any other questions, um, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer. And... I will also put this file for the sentiments out in my Facebook group for Expressions Craft Studio. 
Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more editing on it, but once I get that done, I'll put that file out there either in a PNG or a JPEG format, and you're free to download it if you want. So thanks for joining me, um, and happy crafting.